Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise in the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. So today we're gonna dive into this well, minty adventure. Step four. If you're like me and you have an overabundance of mint, um, don't worry, I've got six ideas for you today for how to use it. So let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to um, talk about is drying mint for tea. Um, my son loves having mint tea. It's really easy. All you have to do is cut some, hang it up somewhere cool and dry, and let it dry out for a couple weeks, and then you can crumple it and put it in your tea. So I'm just going to cut some of these. I save my bread ties um, and I use them to tie it off and then hang it up inside of my window. This stuff I can cut hardcore because it will come back. So let's see. You can see on here too where it's growing out these other leaves. So if I cut it there, those two on that one below it will grow too and it'll get bushier. So here's my first. Also, just another little tip, if you're identifying mint, most of them have a very box-shaped stem. It's like a square. You can feel it's flat on four sides. It's also a very cool tip. And there's different kinds of mint. There's peppermint, spearmint, mojito mint. I'm not sure which one this one is, but I do have mojito mint out front, and I'll show you the two different kinds real quick. Let me cut some more first. Alright, so I just gather all those stems I just cut. Take my little saved up twisty tie. Twist them around. And then we're going to take this inside and hang it up to dry. So here you can already see I have my uh, lemon balm drying and some lavender and peppers and then I'm going to add this mint. I just save, I have these little S hooks, or I could just wrap that tie wrap right around the pole there. We'll hang that mint up there. Let it get dried out like that lemon balm and crumple it up and make some tea. So this guy here is a little bit different kind of mint. Um, his leaves are smaller than that other mint and they're like more veiny. And the taste of this mint it's, it's a little bit stronger. It's mojito mint. Kind of like stronger and sweeter. Definitely probably would make better tea, but I don't have as much of it as that stuff out back right now, so. Oh, smell. Okay, so I put some of the mint in my dehydrator just to dehydrate it pretty quick. Um, and I'm going to put it in the jar to save it for some tea. Just add a few of the leaves. Crunch them up. Okay, so the next step on my list is making a peppermint oil. And basically what we do with that is we take the dry leaves and then we're gonna take a carrier oil and pour it on top of them. Gonna make sure they're very dry because um, water and oil don't mix well and they can cause things to go rancid and bad. So you just want them all dried out, clean jar, and then you do a carrier oil like I have. Jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, you can do olive oil, almond oil, um, and all those are going to go in here. I'm going to cover those leaves up, put the lid on, put it in a cool dark place for a couple weeks, shaking it occasionally. And then I will strain all the leaves out of it and then I'll have my peppermint oil. And I can use that in things like soaps and lotions and salves and lip balms and things like that. Almost just like the peppermint essential oils that you get. But this will be some homemade peppermint oil. And I think today I'm going to use this grape so seed oil that I have. And I'm just going to pour it in there, covering up the leaves. Making sure they're all the way covered. And then 
shake it up a little, put the lid on, and we're good to go. And this will sit, and then we will strain it out and have some homemade peppermint oil. Mint can also be a delicious addition to your meals. You can add it chopped mint to salads, sprinkle it over roasted vegetables, or mix it into your favorite sauces. My favorite is adding it to a tabbouleh salad. Um, this recipe that I'm going to give you guys for this tabbouleh salad is gluten free. So enjoy eating your mint. My fourth reason or thing you can use the mint for is just to let it grow. It smells nice. It is a off-putting smell though for pests like ants, mosquitoes, mice, things like that. So letting your mint grow in your garden can sometimes help keep away some things you don't want around. You could also put it um, near your trash cans to help keep that smell down and keep pests away from those too. Mint is a star ingredient in so many refreshing beverages, mojitos or a cool mint mule. You just muddle some mint leaves with lime juice, sugar, add rum, ice, soda water for a delicious summer mojito treat. I'm making a mule today because those are my favorite. So I'm going to make a mule today. Basically, you just put um, a little bit of a lime juice. And some simple syrup. And I make, I like the gin. Gin mules, you can make vodka mules. But I'm doing the gin today. So let's see. One. Two. Some ginger beer. And the star, the mint. I like to crumple up some of the leaves. Some people call that muddling them. And then you add some just for the garnish too. There it is. Gonna give it up a little stir. delicious. Finally, I want to talk about the health benefits of mint. It is amazing. It can aid in digestion, help freshen your breath, help with headaches. You can even just chew on it. It's pretty powerful. But I feel like clearing my sinuses right now already. <laughs> so there you have it. Six ways to make the most of your mint surplus. Whether you're making tea, infusing oil, mixing up drinks, planning it for pest control, cooking, or just chewing it fresh. It's incredibly versatile. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe please and share this video if you found it helpful. Thanks!